Hey everyone, welcome to Gadget's portal. This is Shukash Mani from India and in this video I'm going to make an in-depth review on this Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet which is also known as Note 800 in India and let's get started with the redesign and improved S Pen here. The white tip is on a spring so the screen digitizer can sense the pressure on it which is quite important mainly in painting and you are also getting a push button here which has a lot of applications throughout the interface and the shape of the pen is also square so it is much more comfortable to hold than the previous round one. Now friends here is your Galaxy Note N8000 tablet which has got a 10.1 inch PLS capacitive touch screen with 1280 by 10 resolution with 149 ppi which is kind of disappointment when you are getting a full HD screen screen on the latest Asus Transformer Prime or the Acer Iconia tab and you are getting resolution of 2048 by 1536 resolution on the iPad 3 with 264 ppi. But don't forget that this is not just a tablet, this is the Galaxy Note, not in the Galaxy Tab series and the resolution though is not up to the mark but from a distance it is not bad at all and the crispness of the pixels and the vividness, the color reproduction of the LCD is excellent. Unless you put the tablet side by side with the iPad 3, no one can find out any flaw in the resolution of this tablet. Now regarding the viewing angles, one thing I really want to share is that when you look at the tablet from an angle, the brightness of the screen actually decreases though there is no decolorization or fading away of colors. And so far I have talked about some negative points on this display here but to speak the truth, you will not feel any flaw on the display on everyday use so there is no point of disliking it because of the LCD. There are much more positive things on this tablet you will love to know like the 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor which is making this user interface super fast i will cover all of them step by step now let me show you the performance of the s pen here now let's launch an s note by pressing and holding the push button and double tapping on the screen i will show a full demo of the s pen in my next review so keep an eye on the channel and also don't forget to subscribe now as you can see the response of the s pen is quite fast there is not that much delay now let's check the pressure sensitivity Let's draw a very thin line, next let's draw a very thick line and as you can see their thickness is quite distinguishable and the pressure sensitivity thing on this tablet is working very fine. Now though you can call this S Pen just a capacitive stylus but you can obviously use it as a capacitive stylus throughout the user interface so you don't have to use your fingers to navigate the screen. Now let's have a quick tour on the exterior hardware of this tablet. Here are two front facing stereo speakers on the bezel and the build quality of this tablet is not extraordinarily good. The back panel especially feels like made of poor plastic and it actually bends whenever you put some pressure though the all plastic build helps this tablet maintain a nice 600 gram weight. The display as you can see is quite glossy and also attracts a lot of fingerprints though these are not visible whenever you turn on the display. Now here in the top you are getting some ports like here is the SIM card slot which can take full sized SIM cards and here is the 3.5 inch jack and here is an infrared port which can be used to control TVs using this tablet as a remote and it doesn't only support Samsung TVs it can be used with any kind of TVs and also set a box. Now here is the micro HDC card slot and you can use up to 64 GB micro HD card. Now here is a volume rocker and here is the power as well as the lock unlock key. Now here on the left you are actually getting nothing. And in the bottom you are getting a Samsung proprietary 30 pin connector for charging and data syncing. And in the left you are also getting nothing because you will hold the device from the sides of this tablet. Now here on the back you are getting a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with HD recording and there is also an LED flash. Now the back as you can see is quite glossy and in the front you are also getting an HD camera which can capture up to 1.9 megapixel images and you are also getting an ambient lens sensor over here. There is also an integrated microphone in this tablet because this tablet also works as a GSM mobile phone. Now you can hold this tablet with one hand quite easily because the back panel is not slippery at all and because of the 600 gram only weight you can hold the tablet for a long time I hope. So portability should not be a problem though you can actually hold this tablet like this way. For carrying this tablet you have to hold it this way or you can hold it like this way like a book. The thickness of this tablet is only 8.9mm which makes this giant tablet very very beautiful. Now let's talk about some key features and specifications of this tablet. First of all it features a very powerful 1.4GHz Cortex A9 quad core CPU with Samsung Exynos quad chipset like the Galaxy S3 and it has also got a Mali 400MP GPU and 2GB of RAM which makes this tablet powerful like a monster. The built-in memory has got three options 16, 32 and 64 GB and 
This tablet can also make voice calls and also can support quad band GPRS edge and also quad band 3G with 20 Mbps HSD and 5.76 Mbps HS UPA. The Android version is 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and the battery is 7000 mAh lithium polymer which is very very nice. It has also got GPS, a GPS Bluetooth 3.0 and also Wi-Fi ABGN. And don't forget the brilliant expense support. Now as you can see it can easily afford 10 point multi-touch now. If you put your palm over the display it is also get detected so you should be careful while using fingers on this tablet. But this is not the case when you are using this brilliant S Pen. And you can also see that the touch sensitivity of the S Pen is much more than fingers. And I am actually pressing hard on the screen with this S Pen here. Now as you can see when I am using the S Pen the palm is not getting detected which is a very nice and handy feature on this tablet. Another thing here is that when you press and hold the push button there is no capacitive touch sensitivity on this tablet. I have been using this S Pen thoroughly on this tablet and found that the performance of this S Pen is excellent and this feature actually makes this tablet special and very different from all the other tablets in the market. Now I am going to test this external stereo speakers and the good thing is that they are facing the front. As you can hear the loudness is quite good ok for watching movies indoors. Though regarding the quality, I will not say this is as clear as sound system but obviously you should not compare it this way. You can easily understand the voice on music, movies and also on phone calls as if you are not using any hands free and whenever you get a call the speakers get activated because there is no earpiece on this tablet. So far in the hardware test the performance of this tablet is excellent mainly in the color reproduction of the display and the speed of the user interface and most important is obviously the S Pen feature. Now regarding the exterior hardware, the design, the feel of this tablet is a little bit cheap though it is priced at 38,000 Indian rupees or around 700 US dollars you should expect more than this. Now let's get started with the quadrant benchmark and let's first show you the system information. The Android version is 4.0.4 .4 on this tablet as you know and the model name is GTN8000. The CPU is ARM version 7 and it is clocked at 1400 megahertz and there are 4 cores on this tablet as you can see. The total RAM space is around 1.86 million KB as you can see and you are getting around 1.08 million KB free. Now here is the precise resolution of this display that is 1280 by 752 with 150 by 151 dpi and 60Hz refresh rate. The GPU is Mali 400 MP with OpenGL ES 2.0 version. Now here you are getting the list of the sensors on this tablet. Let's have a quick look at them. It has got 3 axis accelerometer, 3 axis magnetic field sensor and orientation sensor, light sensor, gyroscope sensor, gravity sensor and also linear acceleration sensor and also rotation vector sensor. Now let's start the benchmark and before that I have actually cleared all the running applications in this tablet to show you the maximum power of this tablet. Here we got the result and you are getting benchmark score of 4998 which is quite nice for a tablet actually it is above the HTC One X here as you can see and also above the Asus Transformer Prime and here is the complete result you are getting 12662 for the CPU, 4561 for the memory, 4310 for the IO, 1000 for the 2D and 2459 for the 3D graphics which I must say is excellent. Now let me show you another very important benchmark where I will show you the GPU capability. Here is the Nina Mark 2 and let's get started. Here we have got very nice 58.9 fps which is almost equal to the refresh rate of this tablet. Now here is a quick comparison and as you can see this Galaxy Note 10.1 N8000 is better than the Samsung Galaxy S2 and also the Asus Transformer Prime E pad. Now let me quickly show you the onto the benchmark. Now 
now as you can see you are getting total of 11969 which is excellent and the cpu is 7153 and the gpu is 1537 which is very very good the ram score is 2489 and the io is 790 which is mainly because of the sd card so overall the hardware of this device mainly the processor ram gpu each and everything under the hood and obviously the s pen have made this the leading tablet in the market and the exterior hardware quality the build quality is not as bad as it sounds so i do recommend this tablet to those people who want a tablet not just for gaming or watching movies but also want to teach the latest technology in the market like the multitasking multi-screen and obviously the brilliant s pen just check the channel for the in-depth reviews on this tablet along with the s pen demo and don't forget to subscribe to gadgets portal to get updated about my new review videos you can also catch me at my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal and if you found this video helpful then like this video comment here and also share it with your friends so that's all for now thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye